It felt chaotic. It was very stressful. It was very lonely, it was tough. It was extremely challenging. Those were rough times. Fill in the blank with any feeling, and that would be an absolutely normal way to feel. There is no wrong way to feel during that time. None of us knew what was ahead. Across the board, there was just an incredible amount of anxiety and stress. Pretty normal within a situation where nobody knows the lay of the land and everybody's scrambling, especially in those early days. Everything else was changing day to day. Always new rules, new updates, but the, the chaos remained. It was hard to explain to the patients how everything was happening when, you know, you're even not sure how everything's being handled. I think the time period that felt the worst was when I was driving in to get a COVID test myself. I think that's when it really hit home and knowing the people that I could have potentially exposed and the patients and the coworkers, knowing that I wouldn't be able to go to work and let down my team, I think that's when it hit the most, was that experience. Everyone was very good at supporting one another and trying to take a little bit off of each other's plate so not one person was feeling overly stressed. And we were very understanding towards one another and very good at asking everyone, what do you need help with? What can I do to make your day a little bit better? <laughs> we had people that were out with COVID, on COVID leave, and you know, other people would step up and cover, and that's what I did, and every other coworker, because somebody was out at some time. We had adversity, and we were able to overcome it and be stronger because of it, and I really think that the hospital and the health system just did a fabulous job. So I just think that we have just been super resilient through the whole thing. If we can get through the challenges that we have gotten through, I think we can get through just about anything. There's an aspect to getting through this time that we can begin to return to doing the things that bring us joy. We can begin to return to building connection, to enhancing our relationships, to being able to engage in aspects of our self-care, which were lost to us during the pandemic. And I think that that level of um, normalcy, that access, is inspiring to people, I think it's hopeful to people, and I think just that engagement allows a lot of people to feel much better. And I think that that mostly will carry a lot of us through. My hope for the future is that we can all get back together doing that same goal of taking care of our patients in the best possible way and being a team again. We're slowly but surely on that path. <laughs>